How's it going everyone? Pop-Tart here. Welcome back to the Airteam channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Ford F-Series pickup truck family in 1.5 to 1 scale. This will include the Ford F-150, F-250, and F-350 models. So yeah, despite the Airteam name, we do a lot more than just aircraft. You've seen a couple of our truck time lapses on the channel from a while back already, as well as the mobile crane tutorial. But this is now the first civilian vehicle tutorial on the channel. So, this was designed by Aero Team member Warellas, who is involved with pretty much all of our ground vehicles at this point, and he has done a fantastic job on it. I'm going to be first showing you how to build the F-150 first, then how to convert it into the F-250, and finally converting the F-250 into the F-350 model, including the optional dual wheels. Now again, as I mentioned, this build is in 1.5 to 1 scale, meaning that it will be perfectly to scale with all of our 1.5 to 1 vehicles on the channel, including especially our aircraft, making this the perfect pickup truck option for airport operations or whatever, if you are building an airport project or something with our aircraft designs. Anyways, there's just one last thing to mention. As always, this build does make use of our very own custom Aero Team texture pack. However, this time around, it's a bit different. So, as you can see here, I'm using our unreleased version 2 texture pack. If you are following along right after this video comes out, you'll of course still be using version 1, and you can find a link to the first version of our texture pack down in the description below if you don't have it already. Now, version 2 here won't be out for probably another month or so. We don't really have an ET at the moment, but it's basically still a ways out. But if you are watching this video well on down the road in a couple months or whatever after its release, you can of course follow along using that. Now, it's important to mention that there are a couple notable differences between version 1 and version 2 in terms of block choice, and I will do my best to show you exactly what needs to change in order to have this look right in version 1, and of course how to go about building this in default as well. You should be able to build this perfectly fine in default, but please do keep in mind that I highly recommend using the Aeroteam pad, as it'll look much better. Anyways, with that all out of the way, let's get going on the tutorial. So, first things first, here's some dimensions for you to help you figure out where you want to put this. The Ford F-150 and F-250 here are both 9 blocks long, while the Ford F-350 with the extended bed is 10 blocks long. All three of these variants are 3 blocks wide and 4 blocks tall, so just keep that in mind to make sure that you have enough room for this. Anyways, with that, let's get going on the Ford F-150. We'll be starting right up here with the front wheels. For these, we'll have an upside-down nether brick stair facing in towards the center right here, block space in between, and then another upside-down nether brick stair right there. Both of these should be facing uh, out just like this, basically. Out to either side of these upside-down stairs here, we're going to have a stone button here to finish off the rim. Join this up with a dark oak fence gate between the two here for the axle. In front of this right here, we're going to have a row of three spruce top slabs across the front right here for the bumper, with a spruce sign in front of the center block right there. Now before I continue, I should give a quick mention to the color of the build. For the purposes of the tutorial, we're going to be building this as a blank car, all in wool, also including this brown trim design by Warellas. Now, quite obviously, not all cars are white, unless you're in Texas, so feel free to use whatever color configuration you like for this, including for the trim. Again, it's just painted blank here for the purposes of the tutorial, with the brown trim just for fun. Anyways, now that we've got that covered, let's continue on here. So, back from these wheels right here, we're going to be placing five spruce wood top slabs going back, or again, whatever trim color you want. So. That's one, two, three, four, and five, just like this, with five more out to the sides to box this off, like so. If I can place these right, there we go. Back from the center block right here, we're going to have a hopper facing forwards into that block right there. Then a nether brick stair upside down facing towards the center out to either side for the rear wheels, like this. Again, with a button out to the side for the rims. Finish this off here with three spruce top slabs across the back like this, and that will finish off the base chassis. So to continue on here, uh, I can get rid of the spruce materials quickly, just because we won't be needing those again. Let's grab uh, stone brick stairs and smooth stone slabs. Right here on top of this center block of these uh, three top slabs across the front, we're going to have a smooth stone full block there with the smooth stone slabs. Not a normal smooth stone full block like this, but the double slab with the line across the center like this. In front of this here, we're going to have a stone button right here, and then an upside down stone brick stair facing backwards just like this for the headlights. Now round off these upside down stairs here with a uh, wool stair facing out to the side right here to uh, curve off the rims, and same thing over here, then a block of wool in the center. Now if you are in defaults, you're quite obviously not going to be having wool stairs, but um, in that case, just to use quartz or smooth quartz or something like that as a building material. 
But here in the Aeroteam pad, we do have access to this wool material, which is a nice, uh, smooth and bright color like this. And that is the purple stairs and slabs, so that's what we'll be using here for this build. Anyways, now that we have that figured out, what we're going to do next is grab a snow. We're going to have a black wool in the center here with second drawing back, like this. Then six snow layers out to the side of this first block right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just like this. Take your wool now. We're going to have four blocks of wool drawing back from the snow layer right here. One, two, three, and four, just like this. Same thing on the other side here. Then two blocks drawing back from those two black wools right there. Now out to the side right here for the door handles, what we're going to do is grab a jungle button. And on the first and third blocks right here of this row of four, we're going to have a jungle button out to the side. Now in the air team pack, this is a wool button material. In default, use uh, birch or something like that as a more white color, but Again, that's still kind of a tannish, so it's not a perfect solution. So this is what we're using here in the Aero Team patch, as this is a perfect wool material. Anyway, same thing here, so first and third blocks, just like that. And going back from this now, what we're going to do is have a uh, upside down wool stair facing out to the side, just like this, above each of these wheels here for the rims. In the center right here, on top of these three spruce slabs, we're going to have a wool block right there in the center, with a stone button behind it, just like this. Now to fill in the bed here of the pickup, uh, we're going to have uh, two black carpets just right in there on that empty space. And now to put in the uh, brake lights at the back here, what we're going to do is grab a red nether brick wall. And we're going to have uh, this on both of these blocks out to the side right here on top of both of those top slabs. Now if you are in the previous version of the R-Team pack, the red nether brick wall texture is incredibly strange. So I would not recommend using that at all. Uh, instead, what you're going to use is a brick wall, uh, this one. But if you are on the new version of the R-Team pack, as I am here, it's just a brick material. And this uh, red nether brick is a much more um, uh, dark kind of option for the brake lights. So that's what we're using here. Now, if you have access to World Edit, there is one more trick that we can do here to get this to uh, mesh uh, more nicely with the uh, truck itself. So what we're going to do here is have a 2x2 two two square of these, just anywhere like this. What you're going to do is grab a stick, type slash REPL0 to switch this over to the replace tool. And from these uh, rearmost two right here, what we're going to do is select the right one right there, the one that's connected off to the left and towards the back, or towards the front rather in our case, and we're going to paste that over the left one right here. What this is going to do is flush this out nicely here to both connect flush with the side and uh, fully with the upside down stair there while also missing off the right connection right here. And this will kind of slim off the uh, red presence so that you still have this bit of white showing. And that will uh, just slim off the brake lights more nicely so that you have more of a wide uh, white portion in the middle here. We're just going to do the same thing on the other side here. So select the left one of those, uh, this one two by two here, and paste that over the right brake light, just like this. So that'll do it for the brake lights. So we can knock out that little uh, temporary assembly there. Now, if you don't have access to world edit, if you're on a uh, console or something of the sort, that isn't exactly something you have to worry about, but I still highly recommend that you do use this trick if you do have access to world edit, as it's much more realistic. Anyways, once we have that, what we're gonna do next is grab uh, netherbird stairs. On top of this first black wool block right here, we're gonna have a netherbird stair there with a netherbird stair facing forward off to both sides, just like this for the windshield. Next, coming back from this here, grab your black wool again, and we have uh, three blocks going back. One, two, and three, just from the center, not on the sides. Next, what you're going to do is grab a dead fire coral fan and a uh, barrier block uh, right here. Back from this uh, netherbird stair on both sides, we're going to have a barrier block right there with a dead fire coral fan coming off of it like this. In the Aeroteam pack, this is a black wool vertical slab model, which is perfect for our window details. Now, in default, uh, that'll look pretty strange. So, uh, what I'd do instead is use something like a uh, nether brick wall in its place. It's not a perfect solution because it doesn't uh, stick out flush all the way and it's got this kind of lumpy uh, model to it with the uh, connections. But it will still get the point across in terms of detailing. But again, I highly recommend using this uh, vertical slab bottle instead here in the Aeroteam pack. Anyways, now that we have that, what we're going to do next is grab a uh, birch trapdoor. And we're going to have a birch trapdoor closed up against the back right here, out from that last black wool block 
that'll kind of close off the back of the cab right there. Now in default, birch might look a little bit strange in terms of the uh, meshing with the quartz color, so maybe use something like an iron trapdoor instead that's a more um, white color rather than a, the yellow tan of the birch material, but uh, yeah, uh, whatever you like with that. At any rate, here in the aero team pack we are using the birch trapdoor for this wool model. Anyways, once we have that to finish off the roof of the cab, what we're going to do is grab white carpet. And on top of uh, all of this here, we're just going to cover this off with white carpet. So on top of the barrier, on top of that vertical slab, and on top of the trapdoor. Just like this to close everything off. So that'll do it for the cab there. Next, grab a skeleton skull. Now out to either side of these uh, netherbert uh, stairs right here. Down a block, we're going to have a temporary block right there with a skeleton skull facing backwards like this. This is for the side mirror here. Uh, make sure it's facing backwards so that you have this kind of smoother coloration on the front and sides with nothing weird showing. And then you also get that kind of darker face on the back for the mirror itself. But uh, yeah, same thing here on the other side. So temporary block up to the side, skeleton still facing backward, and delete the temporary block. Now, quite obviously, the uh, hood isn't looking too hot here. So what we're going to do is grab the birch trapdoor again. And we're going to have three birch trapdoors across the front right there, right in front of these uh, netherbird stairs. Then just one in the center with a white carpet out to either side. That'll kind of smooth off the shaping here of the hood. Now at the back, to finish off the uh, pickup bed, what we're going to do here is place uh, three white carpets going back from the trapdoors right here. And then in the center right there on top of that uh, block of wool, just grab a black carpet and place that right there. And that'll finish off the pickup bed. Now there's one last thing to take care of here before the F-150 itself is done. So this is an optional feature on the F-150. If you want to include the optional sunroof here on top of the uh, cab, what you can do is, uh, in place of these first two white carpets here, use black carpets instead, and that'll have the uh, sunroof here in the cab. That is an optional feature, so you can use it as you like, but uh, yeah, that is uh, there if you want to use it. Anyways, with that, the Ford F-150 is done. The next thing I'm going to be doing here is showing you how to convert the Ford F-150 into the F-250. Alright, so I've now gone ahead and made a second model copy here for the F-250. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is modifying the base chassis. Now, before I do any of this, I should probably explain what's going on here. So the Ford F-250 features a heavy-duty suspension as opposed to the F-150 model. So the entire uh, pickup truck here is actually raised a little bit off the ground. Since it is such a tiny difference in the scale, though, uh, the way Worrell has represented this is by pushing up on the base chassis here at the bottom and raising the uh, details here on the top, but we'll be worrying about all of that later. Anyways, let's just uh, get going on the chassis here. So what I'm going to be doing is just knocking out all of this uh, spruce trim right here, and uh, then filling all of this in with the new design. So we have our wool slabs running down the center right here, top slabs that is. Now out to the side from this here, what we're going to do is have a birch trapdoor uh, layer out to the side, just like this, or again, iron trapdoors in default. Same thing on the other side here, birch trapdoors across, so that will kind of uh, push up on the chassis itself just a little bit here. Now we will of course have to replace those six snow layers that we broke there, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. Now for the uh, front right here, what we're going to do is knock all of this out again. Now instead of replacing this with the chassis, we ha actually have a little bit of a, um, a thickened bumper here. So for this, what we're going to do is have a upside-down stumbert stair facing forwards right there, with an upside-down stumbert stair facing off to the sides to corner it off just like this. That'll give you a design looking something like that. Now at the back here, what we have going in place of these spruce top slabs is a nether brick top slab right there in the center, with a jungle trapdoor out to either side right there. Now in the version 2 of the Aero Team pack, this is a uh, smooth stone uh, texture right here. In the previous version of the Aero Team pack, that smooth stone texture is actually on the iron trapdoor model and not the jungle trapdoor, so use that instead. And again, just use an iron trapdoor in default either way. But yes, in the uh, new version 2 of the Aero Team pack here, this jungle trapdoor is what we're using. Anyways, once we have that, what we're going to do next is come up to the hood right here. And what we're going to do is knock out these upside down stonebrook stairs right here, and replace these with a stonebrook wall out to the side, just like this. This is for the uh, kind of rounded off uh, headlights of the F-250 model and F-350. Now if you do have access to WorldEdit, we can make this a little bit nicer. What we're going to do is have a Stonebridge stair, or <laughs> wall rather, just anywhere right here, 
with a temporary block out to either side like this to uh, get it to connect off to the sides. And then just any old block on top to give it that pillar down the center. Select that with your replace tool and paste over like this. That will get these uh, edges kind of more fleshed off to the side like this to connect over. But uh, yeah, again, as with the brake lights, that isn't exactly a crucial addition if you're on console or whatever. But again, if you have access to World Edit, I highly recommend using this trick. Anyways, now that we have that, we can knock out that temporary assembly and continue on. Once we have that, the next thing we're going to be doing here is replacing these door handles on the side with the stone button. So from the wool model here to the stone model, just like this. So it's the stone button instead. Again, that's the first and third blocks of this row of four. Now that we have that, what we're going to do next is replace the headlights. So for the kind of thickened up headlights of the F250, what we're going to have here is a nether brick fence out to either side of this uh, nether brick stair as opposed to the uh, skeleton skull model. And again, another uh, world up trick here. Nether brick fence there, and a second nether brick fence off to the side just like this, so you have kind of uh, a single connection of both variants here. Select the left one and paste that over the uh, right headlight right there, right from the uh, truck's perspective that is. So it connects up with the nether brick stair right there. And do the same thing on the other side just like this to connect it off. Now remember back at the start of this tutorial when I mentioned that this whole thing is actually raised a little bit from the heavy duty suspension. So we pushed the chassis up here at the bottom. Now what we're going to be doing is raising all of the details on the top just a little bit to simulate the uh, raise from that suspension. We'll be starting right here at the hood and knocking out all four of these birch trapdoors right here. Instead of those trapdoors we'll be driving a snow layer. So basically a, a trapdoor is 1.5 snow layers, so it's exactly between 1 and 2 snow layers like this. So what we'll be doing here is just replacing all four of these trapdoors with double snow layers like this. And on top of the headlights here, we've just got the same white carpet as before, like so. Now on top here, what we're going to be doing is raising all of these carpets from a uh, carpet layer to a trapdoor layer. So with the birch trapdoor, just knock out all of these carpets right here and replace them with the birch trapdoor, just like this. And again, if you have, uh, if you are using the sunroof on top here, and you have the black carpet, you'll be using the acacia trapdoor here in the Aeroteam pack, like so. If you aren't using the uh, sunroof, just use the uh, birch trapdoor all the way across instead. Now here's where things get a little bit complicated in the previous version of the Aeroteam pack. So in the version 1, the acacia trapdoor is actually a uh, an orange model, so it's not black at all. I believe it's the... Uh, powered rail in the previous version of the pack. Uh, this model, yeah, it's not, we actually, in this development version, we still have that model left over, but uh, yeah, so you'll just be using the powered mo uh, powered rail instead for the uh, acacia trapdoors on top here, or not for the acacia trapdoors, but in place of the um, uh, black carpet from the uh, carpet layer roof. Instead, though, in the air team pack here, version 2, that is, we are using the Acacia Trapdoor, so that's what's going on here. But, uh, yeah. So, once we have that, let me just throw that away quickly. And I'll still be needing that, actually. And we'll next be uh, raising the bed here. So, again, this is all a carpet layer, and we're just going to be moving this all over to a trapdoor layer, just like this. Making sure to replace this uh, black carpet here as well with the trapdoor to uh, make everything flush here. And we also have to replace this black carpet here inside the bed from when we uh, pushed up the suspension here and knocked out that block beneath it. So just make sure that you replace that black carpet there. Anyways, there's just one last thing to take care of here, and that is adding the identification lights on top of the windshield here. For this, what we're going to be doing is grabbing the stone button, and we'll be placing temporary blocks on top of all three of these uh, netherbrick stairs right here. Grab the stone button, place it anywhere here, aligned horizontally with the... Um, uh, truck itself, not perpendicular like this. Grab a stick, slash REPL0, select that, and paste over all three of these temporary blocks right here. And that will add in these lights. So I have been informed by Warellas, the uh, original designer of this truck here, that these identification lights are seen in basically all of the Ford F-350s, and commonly on the F-250s, but not always. So it's an option if you want to include it or not, so just keep that in mind. And again, if you are stuck on console or something without World Edit and you can't place that in, don't worry about it, but it is a nice detail to include if you do have the option to do so. Anyways, with that, the Ford F-250 is done. So the last thing we'll be doing here is converting this over to the F-350. Alright, so I have once again made another backup copy for the F-350 here. 
The first thing we're going to be doing for the F350 conversion is moving this entire bed here at the back one block back. So, where it's uh, three long here, we're going to be moving it to four long. For this, we'll just be uh, grabbing all of this here and basically just placing a block of wool back from that wool there. Knock out all of this here. And the wheels as well. What you're going to be doing here is also knocking out that uh, hopper there and the nether brick slab. Move that nether brick slab back a block right there. And the wool uh, slab back a block as well. Hopper there in its place and uh, birch trapdoor out to either side of that wool slab there. Grab your nether brick stairs again and we'll just be placing these wheels in one block back from where they were on the previous F250. So, upside down stair there and there, both facing in towards the center. Button out to the side to finish off the rims. Next, grab a wool stair. We've got an upside down wool stair on top of that uh, upside down nether bird stair there. This time facing out to the side for the rims here. And a block of wool on top of that birch trap door there, just like this. Next, grab your red nether brick walls and we'll be putting in the brake lights again. So, same assembly as before that we did with the uh, F-150 back at the start. Select the right one there from the last block there. Temporary block out to either side of that block of wool right there. Paste the right model over the left block and the left model over the right block just like this. That'll connect in nicely. So grab your birch trapdoors. We have a birch trapdoor on top of both of those brake lights there and a acacia trapdoor right there in the center to uh, block all that off. Knock out this acacia trapdoor right here from where the bed was extended and make sure to drag the black carpets all the way across there to fill in the bed. Now grab a jungle trapdoor here, or again an iron trapdoor in the previous version of the RTM pack or in default. And again we'll be placing that right back from those wheels right there. And to finish this off we have a stone button back from that wool block right there in the center. So now that we have the bed extended a block back, the next thing we'll be doing here is bulking up the chassis a little bit. So grab your smooth stone slabs now. What we'll be doing here is out to the side where we have this row of birch trapdoors out right here. We'll be knocking out the first four going back right here. One, two, three, and four. And replacing these with the smooth stone slab, just like this. And same thing on the other side here. So one, two, three, and four. And replace these with your smooth stone slab, like this. Grab your snow again and make sure to replace these snow blocks that we broke right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six layers. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just like this. Ah, somehow that didn't paste over correctly. Let me grab that quickly. Yeah, just made sure that these uh, headlights are aligned properly. I don't know why mine wasn't here, but ah well. So now that we have that, the last thing we'll be doing here for the Ford F350 is adding in the optional dual wheels. So this is an optional feature, so you can leave it out if you want to, if you want to have it just like this for the F350. But since it is an option that can be used, I'll be showing you how to add that in if you'd like. So for the dual wheels here, we'll be starting a bit unconventionally. Uh, first knock out this button out to the side of that uh, rear wheel right there. Then knock out two blocks going down right here out of block uh, from the wheel like this. Grab a snow layer and place seven of these right in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this will be seven eighths of a block right here, just below one block depth. And this is the perfect height that is needed to add in this armor stand for the rim. For this, what we're going to do here is grab an armor stand and place this facing towards the center of the truck, kind of as perfectly aligned as you can, not facing forward, or not leaned down at all, not angled out to the side or anything. Kind of as perfectly aligned as you can. I can never get this right, but uh, keep trying until you can get it kind of as good as it'll be. Uh, there we go. So that should be pretty much aligned, and grab a skeleton skull now and place it on the armor stand. Now you can see that it's leaning a little bit forwards now, so it's not quite perfect, so you might want to keep trying uh, as much as you can. It's a little bit more straight up and down, I'll probably leave it at that. Try to get it as perfectly aligned as you can, but uh, yeah. The next thing we're going to be doing now to push this into place is grab a piston and a uh, block. Just place any old block out to the side of this uh, skeleton, or this armor stand right here, with a piston facing into it. Power this piston in any way you can right here, delete it, and delete that temporary block. This will push the uh, armor stand right up against this block right here. Now, to finish off the second wheel right here, we already have 
kind of a pseudo vertical slab right here on the outer layer right here for the inner wheel. I will be placing an actual vertical slab right here on the inner layer for the outer wheel, if that makes any sense at all. For this, we'll be grabbing the dead fire coral fan and placing this out to the side of the upside down stair right there, and that will form the outer wheel right here of the duel. So you can see how this meshes with the skeleton stole right here to create the rim of the wheel. And you can also see why it's so important that you get the uh, armor stand perfectly aligned, because it will be a little bit off like this. But uh, yeah, this is the best I can get it right here for the purposes of this tutorial. Anyways, now that we have the dual wheel itself in place right here, now we have to get this uh, block pushed back in here to fill in the uh, ground. So you can use the piston again to move the block back in place here, just pushing it aside. That will uh, fill everything in perfectly. I'm just going to use a lazy world edit trick here for this. Um, and placing a gray wool above that vertical slab right there. Select it with world edit and move to D to move it down into place. Again, if you're without world edit, you can use a piston to just push in the ground. It won't mess up the armor stand at all, but uh, yeah. I'm using gray wool here just because this is my outline for the wheel markings, but yeah, just make sure that you use whatever ground material was there that you broke for that armor stand. Anyways, now that we have that, we'll just be doing the same thing on the other side here. So, uh, knock out two blocks down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven snow layers. Armor stand towards the center, as perfectly aligned as you can get it, kind of like this. Skeleton skull on its face here, and a dead fire coral fan out to the side right there. Actually, from wrong order. Temporary block, uh, piston, and power that, removing the temporary block. Now we can place in that uh, vertical slab, just like this. You can see that I got this a little bit better aligned, so it's not so uh, angled in towards the center. It's more flat against the vertical slab here for the wheel. Anyways, just make sure that you get that uh, floor block moved back into place, like this. Now that we have the wheels themselves in, what we're going to be doing next is putting in the uh, extended rims for the wheels here. So, knock out this upside down uh, wool stair right there, place in a full block of wool. Now what we're going to be doing is grabbing a dead brain coral fan and placing this out to the side right here. So in the Aeroteam pack, this is a uh, wool vertical slab model. In default, just maybe use like an iron trap door or something, but uh, yeah, this is a better solution. So, uh, wool block there, and dead brain coral fan out to the side. Now to finish off the shaping for this rim here, we'll be grabbing uh, white stained glass panes and placing these out to the side right here. Now to get this to connect in flush, We'll kind of be using the same trick that we did with the uh, walls right here. So make a 2x2 two two of the glass panes here. Select this uh, back right one right here and paste it over that block. Select the forward left that is looking down the uh, truck. Paste that over that one and that will flush this in nicely here. We will have to fix these brake lights here since they got a block update but we can worry about that in a second. So back right. Uh, paste it over this one right here, and forward right, paste it over this to get it to flush in nicely. If you are without world edit and can't use that trick to flush everything in, uh, it, this here probably won't look too good. I mean, you can leave it like that if you want to, or also just use um, uh, trapdoors closed up against the sides for this all, but... Um, it looks a little bit strange like that. The bulkier uh, rounded option is much nicer. So, yeah, I recommend using this if you can. Anyways, uh, I messed up that order with the block updates. There we go. Now it's all flushed in nicely. So we can remove those temporary glass blocks there. And uh, next, fill in the brake lights here once more. So since these got a block update as we were putting in the sides here, they did revert back to the uh, single pillar nature. So just make another 2x2 two two here. Select the right one, paste it over the left brick lights, and I need to be in slush slush fast mode for this. Uh, my apologies, but uh, yeah. If you were following along from the start of the tutorial, you'd probably still be in slush slush fast from when we were doing this initially. But uh, yeah, it's been multiple takes since I started this, so I'm not in fast anymore because I re-logged. Yeah, so just make sure you're in fast mode and paste this over, and now because I messed that up, I have to replace this uh, glass pane here. There we go. So that will fill everything in nicely, just like this. And yeah, 
So, now that we have that all finished off, that'll do it for the rear wheels here. The last thing we'll be doing for the dual wheels is uh, modifying the front wheels here. So for the front wheels on the dual wheel model, the rims are actually a little bit extruded out. It's a bit of an interesting design. For this, we'll be replacing the stump button here with a skeleton skull facing out to the side, just like this. That'll give the rims the um, pointed uh, style of the um, front wheels on the dual wheel design. Anyways, now that you have that, that is everything for the Ford F350. And all three models of the Ford F-Series here are done. So, congratulations on completing the Ford F-Series. Thank you so much for choosing an Team design. We hope that you enjoyed building it, and we hope that you enjoy having it as a part of whatever project you're using this for. Do feel free to use this in any kind of publicly available project you like, given that you of course provide proper credit to the Aeroteam for these designs. Again, Aeroteam member Warles is the mastermind behind the vehicle here, so please do take note of his hard work. So, if you have built this truck, let us know. We'd love to see how you're using our designs. If you enjoyed, please do consider subscribing to the Aeroteam channel to be the first to see our new aircraft and vehicles when they come out. Anyways, that is just about it. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.